Okay, so for, we're gonna work in our writer's notebooks again. And I'm going to show you another way that people can use their writer's notebooks. Once you go to your um, writer's notebook, if you scroll all the way down on the bottom, I've included some charts here. And so today we're looking at this chart, things you can write in a journal. And I'm looking at these different things that you can write in a journal. And today we're gonna focus on this one right here, lists. So you can make a list or more in your writer's notebook today. So I could write a list about things that make me happy, I could write a list of things that make me sad, or let's see, things um, that bother me. <laughs> I could write a list of things that I'm good at or things that are hard for me. I could write a list of words that I like, um, like onomatopoeia, and there's other words that I like. I could write a list about places that I've been or places that I've liked to go. Um, so think of some, generate an idea of some lists, a list of lists that you could write about. And then when one speaks to you, just get started. So you're going to write this entry below the one that you wrote yesterday. So I'm just going to go down one. Um, this journal entry is lists. Today's date is the 26th. And the first list I'm going to work on is um, things that make me happy. I'm gonna underline that. And I'll fix my uppercase letter later. Um, okay, and maybe you wanna do like a bulleted format. I think I'll do, I'll try that and see if I like it. All right, so things that make me happy. I bet you guys know my first one my nephews. Um, obviously also trail running comes to mind. I don't want these to be underlined. Um, other things that make me happy are swimming on a hot day. Christmas morning. Laughing with friends. Cuddling with Luca getting into a good book. Um, laundry being folded. <laughs> so I could go on and on and on. There is a bunch of things that make me happy. Um, what I'm wondering is how do we, so I'm assuming you guys will run out of space on your page. Um, so let me see if it goes down any further. Um, teaching my students, other things that make me happy, um, going on fun trips, camping, um, sunny days. Okay, so it looks like it's just gonna scroll off the page and I think that's fine, but if you wanted to go on to the next page, just go up here to the plus sign and then to, down to the drop down arrow and insert a page that's blank. Perfect. And then I can just keep going with my list. So I'm going to continue my, I have to insert a text box first, guys. So watch how I'm doing this. Insert text box. And I'm going to want it to go on my page. So I'm making sure it's there. And now I can go to bullets and numbering. And I can continue on with my list of things that make me happy. Okay, so that's one thing. If you've run out of, um, or you don't feel like doing that list anymore, just make a new one. Things that uh, bother, annoy me. <laughs> okay, and so then I could think of all the things that annoy me. Um, I will say paper cuts. I do not like paper cuts. Also, when things get tangled, 
like wires get tangled or um, anything really, like clothes hangers, that really bothers me. Um, rude people, rude people bother me. Um, traffic, don't like sitting in the traffic, especially when I have somewhere to go. Um, I don't like getting sand stuck all over me. I really don't like being too hot. Um, I get annoyed when Luca and Boone won't leave me alone while I'm trying to eat. They just get up all in my face. And um, I could also go on and on <laughs> with that list. Um, so in a minute, you're going to go ahead and go to your own writer's notebook. I've put this assignment in Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and just see where that is. Um, you might need to refresh your Google Classroom stream. Oh, this is 211. All right, so it's right here, Writer's Notebook, Journal Entry 826. And when you click on it, you will see your instructions. And here they are, what I've just explained um, to you. And there's no work attached because you need to go into your writer's notebook. Um, and if you don't have access to it, let me know and I can return it to you because some of you turned your assignment in and I need to return it to you before you can make another entry. Um, and don't turn, like Gus suggested earlier today, don't turn this into me, your writer's notebook. Uh, actually, we can't. The... It gets marked as missing because it's due, it's due today at 4 p.m. And it gets marked missing if we don't. Uh, okay, do can it. you ignore the marked as missing notification, Hazel? It's just really annoying because it's just like, this is missing, I, this is missing. I know, so just try to ignore the missing thing. Um, and I will update it in the to-do doc. But in the future, maybe I won't make it as an assignment. Josh. Um, my parents will, will, will not believe me because like they're very strict about me doing my homework sometimes. Okay, so they check your classwork and whether they are, it's missing or not? Okay, yep. so the next time we have an assignment like this that I don't want you to turn in for whatever reason. Can you email like my dad? You shouldn't turn this in. Or turn it in and then I'm going to grade it and return it to you. Okay? Okay. okay. Any other questions about writing time today? Wait, could, do we just make one list or multiple? You can make, um, you can just work on one list or multiple. And then when we're done, we turn it in? Yeah. Okay. Step in.